Welcome to Take Out News, and I'm your host, Danny Lee. Today, we're getting into the tale of Josh Soul. All right, we're going to get into it. With all this talk with Tyler Perry and Christian Keys, is did he do it? Did he not do it? Um, it kind of made me remember an incident that happened a few years ago with Tyler Perry and one of his ex-employees, Josh Soul. All right, make sure you got your snack and your drink for this one because we're going to go down memory lane. We're going to talk about what happened and what the outcome was. All right, so as it goes, Tyler Perry was suing an ex-employee named Josh Soul. He's pictured here in the video sitting down with the blue shirt and a white top. Now, Tyler Perry winded up filing a protective order in Fulton County Superior Court against Joshua Soul. And he was booked into the county jail for criminal trespassing at Tyler Perry Studios. Now, Perry said in the lawsuit that Soul was trying to intimidate him. It also had said in the lawsuit that Soul was trying to contact Tyler Perry with no success. And he apparently was determined to get a face to face with the movie maker, the lawsuit said he disengaged the power to disable the alarms and surveillance equipment at the studio in Southwest Atlanta. Little side note, that sounds like some Mission Impossible kind of stuff to me. But anyway, come on, let's go. So then he climbed into the studio through a suspended ceiling now, the Atlanta police said they got a call about an intruder at the Tyler Perry Studios. And when officers arrived, the head of security said an employee, which was Joshua Soul, had been acting weird and had barricaded himself in a room where the administrative offices were located. According to the incident report, I'm sorry, another side note. This sounds like a Tyler Perry movie. But anyway, come on. So, at the time, the security chief was puzzled by how Seoul gained access to the room. The police took more than four hours to get Seoul into custody. He was booked into Fulton County Jail. Wow. Now, during that time, Perry did ask for the court to ban Seoul from coming within 500 feet of him and to compel Seoul to undergo psychological evaluation and treatment as well as pay Perry at least $100,000. There goes 100000 There goes that number again, $100,000. The studio executive will let a jury decide if he deserves more compensation, which it said in the lawsuit as well. The lawsuit doesn't say whether Perry fired Soul or in what capacity he was employed. It did not say what he did at Tyler Perry Studios as an employee. Perry says he is entitled to the money because of the discomfort and annoyance caused by the diminished value of his peace and enjoyment that he gets while he's at Tyler Perry Studios. Now, it's unclear why Soul wanted to talk to Perry, which we have another part of that coming up in the second half of this video because we also have Soul's response to all this, and it's a doozy. Now, it said, like I said, it said it unclear. They were saying it was unclear why Soul wanted to talk to Perry and attempts to reach Soul were unsuccessful during the time. Now, after all this debacle, um, a Fulton County magistrate apparently didn't consider Soul dangerous at all. And he was released on $7,000 signature bond, meaning he put up nothing of value the same day he was jailed. Perry, however, is trying to redeem that outcome. The lawsuit asked that the Superior Court to require Soul to post a bond to ensure his good behavior. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're going to move into Josh Josh's side of the story. And like I said, it is a doozy. Now, Josh is saying that he, he wasn't doing anything that he was accused of doing. But what he was trying to do was talk to Tyler Perry in person and tell him that he was being SA'd by a certain staff member, not per se him, but a certain staff member. And everyone was looking at him like he was crazy. And it goes in to say that 
in the 17 page complaint because Josh winded up filing a lawsuit against Tyler Perry Studios. And he's saying that he was subjected to verbal, verbal and physical essay. And according to the complaint, he was obligated to work in an atmosphere that was hostile to males by virtue were unsolicited and unwelcome essay advances, comments, um, innuendo, and charged content. If you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I just can't say it on YouTube. And it was all by the hands of the studio supervisor, Brett Hendricks, as it's stated in these court papers. Now, Soul also alleges Hendricks, who hold, held the position of coordinator, um, inappropriately touched him, called him baby, and told him he missed him. Hendricks made a practice of flirting with the plaintiff soul in anticipation of, you know what, I'm going to have to use a little pig, <laughs> messed up pig Latin, actual favors, you know what I'm saying, and made personal calls and texts in the hopes of getting actual favors favors. Now, Soul also says when he complained about Hendricks' conduct, defendants took steps to adversely impact the plaintiff's employment. According to the complaint, Soul lost seniority, was suspended, and removed from the workplace in the direction of the defendants, and was arrested for no reason. Soul later, you know, was fired. The complaint says Tyler Perry Studios is in violation of civil rights which protects people from employment discrimination as well as civil rights. Um, the defendant, Tyler Perry Studios, is accordingly charged with knowledge of the actual offense and conduct of a high-level employee. The complaint says the plaintiff was subject to a hostile work environment, which altered the terms of the conditions of employment. Souls also asking for damages for retaliation, negligent and reckless failure to provide plaintiff with a safe work environment, negligent and wrongful hiring, supervision and retention, ratification, intentional infliction of emotional distress, battery, invasion of privacy, privacy, libel, and bad faith. Um, so also accused Perry of being liable for saying that he was mentally disturbed. And because of Perry's comments on social media, Soul saying he suffered from anxiety and depression. So that case was thrown out. But I don't know, maybe they may try and file again with all this new stuff coming out you know what i mean so we're just gonna have to sit and wait but you know well i was just giving you the tale of josh soul Alrighty, guys i have to go we have another hot story coming up with cardi b you're not gonna believe this one we'll be back in two shakes of a lamb <laughs> now we'll we'll be back i love you all and i will see you later bye bye Thank you.